Hey everybody, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modeling Bench, and here we are at the bench, and I've just literally had this come through the door. Ordered it from Hannant's, and I know what it is, and you know what it is because of the title. And it's the uh, this is the brand new set from Edward for the CH54A Tarhi from ICM, um, and it is a very, very much required set indeed. If you remember, I originally talked about the Edward stuff, and I said that all they were doing was like an instrument panel. Um, and the cockpit needed a lot more than that. I was wrong. I always use Hannant's for my references and stuff. And Hannant's actually had this set in 30 second scale. So when I searched for CH54 135th, it didn't show up. And then uh, Ted emailed me and said, no, there's this set as well, 321008. So this one here is 33347. Okay. Um, so this is what you get if you just buy the Zoom set. So that's all your instrument panels and everything. But this one also has all this, which is a lot of the, the missing structure and riveted floor and everything from inside. We still don't have the, um, the structure on the back wall of the cockpit. You'll have to scratch build that or maybe somebody else will come up with it. But it shouldn't be too difficult to do because it's literally just a lattice. What this set covers is awesome. Um, this is one of the better Edward sets and I've messed this right up. I wish they used the same bags as... There's another company, I can't think who it is, they, they actually have the, the glue is actually on here. So when you actually take stuff out, you end up not ruining it. Um, so yeah, these bags are a pain in the ass really. Everybody uses them, but they are a pain in the ass. So what we've got in here is two sheets of photo etch. We've got one part there which has come, which has been bent and come loose. Just put that back over there. So what we've got here is two two sheets of photo etched brass. This one's um, plated and then it's pre-coloured as well. And you can see on here, I'll show you on there, you've got the glazing on the on the dials and everything. Now this is never going to be as nice as like your Red Fox or Quinter Studios 3D printed instrument panels. Um, but it's a lot better than the decal you're getting in the kit. So, and certainly all these panels here are going to be very, very much uh, appreciated by the modeler as well. Because the cockpit in the Tarhe, it's very, very visible. There's lots and lots of glass. And it's a little bit kind of simple. It's very strange. ICM gave us a decal for the overhead console, uh, which I believe is that one. They didn't give us anything for the main centre console, which is probably the most visible part of the cockpit. So it's nice that we've got this here and you can see there's lots of bright colours and everything on there. But I do know that Red Fox are doing one, Red Fox Studio here. Um, I do know they're doing a 3D printed set for it, but it'll only be all of this. It won't be all of this. And in here, we've got lots of lovely detail. We've got the, this is the bulkhead behind the pilot seat, which in the kit is just flat plastic. Um, this is the step that's completely missing from the kit. The kit comes down like this. It actually should have a cutout. I'll show you in a second. This is the rear floor with all the rivet detail. If you remember, I used rivets on mine. Um, and then you've got, this is the panel up behind the, uh, the sort of crane operator. And then this is up the side of this. There's like a panel behind. This is like vertical behind the cockpit. And then here's some more of that floor area with the uh, structure on it as well. Here we've got the, the sides of the interior of the cockpit just below the doors, which is also very visible. Seat frames, also very visible. We've got the uh, covers there for the um, for the little vet, the fans that blow up onto the pilots. So they're nice as well. If you put your, if I put mine dead straight, you can't see them. If you've got them on an angle, you'll be able to see the ends of them, but you want to drill them out first. So lots and lots of detail in there. Um, and this, this set actually, I, I got it from Hannant's and it was on a pre-order, so it was less 10%. And it was like £25, so it's going to be about £27.50, I'm guessing. So here we can see with the instructions, uh, we have, you can see the part number there, 321008. And you can see here, they're telling us, use this part as a template and cut out that section in there. It's completely missing in the kit. And then you're going to make it into this step here. Okay. Then the kit just has these runners on the floor. It's just two longitudinal runners per side. They're telling you to cut those off and then you've got this framework here which is going to fold up which is going to be lovely and look a lot more accurate. What, what is nice about this, as you know with helicopters, everything is like fabricated from sheet aluminium and covered in rivets and it's always a bit sort of lumpy and bumpy and that. And this is exactly what this is going to look like. So it's very, very nice indeed. 
we've got a replacement, we've got the fans there. So you've got the, uh, the grills for the fans, as I say, drill them out like I did. And then they look great with them on. And you can see all the additional detail here going in the seats. The seats basically go down and all you literally get is that part there. It's all you get is that part there with the two legs going down. Um, you get none of this lattice work here, none of the, the mounts or anything for the bottom. So yeah, very, very nice indeed to see that. Um, then here we've got the operating panel and there's a vent there for the, uh, this is the crane operator at the back. And then here we've got all the centre console that's telling us to remove this detail from here. And then we've got the two pull levers there which are moulded on. We've got the uh, ball pen here giving us the, um, the stiffeners in the panels. That's going to look really nice down the sides. All very visible on the finished model. And then when we come around the back here, we've got this is the panel behind the pilot seat. And this is the back. So this is the, the pilot seat is here. And then this is the back of that panel. So you, this is what you're going to see all through the door. And then here we've got the instrument panel here, the overhead console. We've got replacement throttle levers, which is a nice touch. Um, they are also quite visible. And then we've got the panel next to it. It's the fuse panel, I think, next to it. And then over here, we've got these side panels going in, which I showed you. They go underneath the doors. And they've got various boxes and stuff going in. It's just going to busy it all up and make it look a million times better. As I say, it's a shame they haven't done any more in the area behind behind the um you've got the pilot and then you've got the area where the door is where the, where the where the floor is and everything which they've got here but then there's a lot of structural detail on that back wall there's a fire extinguisher there and everything which is all completely missing in the kit so this is a, a very welcome addition from edward thank you very very much for doing this and um i'm hoping they're going to do a secondary set which is the rear cockpit as we know they sometimes do that with bombers they have front area cockpit rear area and all that so fingers crossed they might do that area a lot a lot of work to go in there lots and lots of photo etch lots of folding but it'll look amazing so there um, we go. There we go. Uh, a very quick review just to let you know it's out there because as i say i did say that um all they'd done was was this panel here so uh, that was wrong of me to do that because i was using hannance as my reference so i shall check in future but i did email edward and i asked them if they could you know, as soon as they've got instructions, could they send me a copy so I could get them out, get this on, you know, reviewed on here and um, let you guys know what's coming. But they just completely ignored my email, which was very nice of them. Thank you very much, Edward. So um, there we go. So hope you've enjoyed that. As I say, we'll be using this on our next build of the Sky Crane. We've got a few bits of aftermarket coming for that. Um, Attila over at Red Fox has told me he's going to send me his 3D instrument panel for the Sky Crane when it arrives. So I'm not sure if that's coming in yet or if he's forgotten me or what, I don't know. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing that because that's going to look beautiful. Because you've got this panel down here with all the switches and everything. It's going to look so much better than just having the 2D photo etch. But uh, if it never does materialise, that is still much better than what you're getting in the kit. So anyway, thank you for watching. See you all soon. Bye for now.